uh, that the established parties will need. Because the established parties, like the DA in our province mm. and the ANC, will get most of the votes. And they get their votes from anywhere in the country generally. Yeah. And you see, that's the, that's the issue, you know, especially pertaining to how independent candidates, uh, you know, I thought, especially because they used to be able to compete in the local government elections, actually represent the will of the people on the ground because they're on the ground with them every day, uh, seeing what is wrong with services that are not being delivered, for example. But now they have monetary constraints. Uh, you know, 20,000 rand yeah. to compete in the Western Cape for you is a lot of money for other people. Exactly. If you were a farm worker and you were very popular in your community and the community says, I want to vote for her, um, but you don't have the media presence that I, I, yeah. I have or historical media presence, mm. you don't have the networks of researchers and, and friends and comrades in many, many different areas, how do you, how do you participate? Mm. That is so, so unfair. And so we need to have clearly demarcated uh, constituencies which, which are contained, and there should be a limit on how much one should spend in an election. Mm, absolutely. Because otherwise, those with big money will outspend poor candidates, working-class candidates, and candidates who have something to contribute but a middle class and they don't have access to the resources. Yeah. And you know what's interesting for me again, uh, you know, sticking to the monetary constraints, Mr. Ahmad, is that the electoral amendment bill, yes, fine, it shows that democracy is maturing in South Africa, etc., and um, that we're getting somewhere. But it also requires the appointment of party agents by uh, independent candidates.